Hi there, today we're talking about boron kits. Lately, in the 3D printing world, there has been a lot of hype around boron printers, and for good reasons. Instead of talking about all the features in these printers, we're going to look at these printers with a more business-oriented perspective and talk a little about some issues not mentioned by many channels. I'm Richard, and this is 3D Printing for Money. Most channels that cover Voron material have for sure great expertise in 3D printers and how to assemble them, how to tune them, but almost none of those channels run 3D printer farms and sell prints. So are they any good? Are they the right machine for your production needs? Are these machines the ultimate 3D printer we were waiting for? For sure, a huge plus of the Voron lineup is that they are designed by engineers with 3D printing background. And if you start to read their material, you understand pretty quickly that they live, breathe, and eat 3D printed topics. Quite different from the Chinese companies we are keen to see nowadays. Even more, and as an engineer, I appreciate the developer's choice to create these printers without cutting corners on design or shoddy parts. But being a team and not a company is one of the first problems. You can't officially buy a bottom printer only source individual parts from the public bill of material or buy kits on Aliexpress. The developers and the purists always push for self-sourcing, even if it can take you several hours or days setting you back for more important activities. If you go for the kit route, the quality of the pieces can vary as you can read from many topics on the Facebook group and Discord channel and maybe you will need to change some pieces. Are these printers good for a printing farm? In a production environment, the final products defines the machinery you use. If I want to make furniture, I will need band saws and woodworking tools. If I have to work steel, I use lasers and cutting tools. The same goes for boron printers, designed to print at high speed ABS and ASA and technical materials that require a controlled environment. If your business is based on such materials, from ABS up to polycarbonate, there are valid contenders in the plethora of the market offerings. If instead your work can be done with less demanding materials, they could not be the right machines, lacking sufficient cooling and being enclosed. And obviously, for industrial or exotic materials like peak, these printers are an ideal not having an active heated chamber. In addition, still on the subject of production, a well-made Voron 2.4 requires between $1.5 and $2,000, based on the quality of the sourced pieces. For the same amount, you can buy two Prusa, still very good for printing pieces, and in some cases, two Prusa are faster than one Voron. For example, if you have two orders of 12 printing hours each, with one fast Voron you will have to wait for the first one to finish, change the spool, change the best surface and restart, taking you maybe 16 hours. With two Prusa you just load different spools on different printers and after 12 hours you have two prints. Similar thing for Enders, you can buy 5 or 6 Ender 3s for the price of one 2.4. For example, Joe over Martinson Manufacturing has a farm of Ender 3 printing parts 24-7 and I mostly rely on heavily modified Ender 5s. Do you have a true workhorse 3D printer? Let me know in the comments. The real question is, do you need all these nice features for your day-to-day -day 3D printing? If they are vital for your business and you can invest the time, great, take the plunge and have fun with the build. But don't forget that regular maintenance won't magically disappear. And if you want a perfect machine, be ready to trash entire days taming down complications that can arise, like the famous issue 6, the rails twisting, the bed becoming a taco. Can I have a taco? Last but not least, if you have seasonal peaks or a load of new orders you will need to print immediately, you will be limiting your business scalability. Being hand assembled, you will need between one and two months for sourcing the pieces and having the printer running. Your customers won't be willing to wait eight weeks for their products just because you have to wait for the machine to be completed they will take their business elsewhere. Recapping all the video, I understand all the effort invested in the design of these printers and I cheer for the Voron team for the breath of fresh air they brought in the 3D printing world. But as the current state of things, the Voron lineup remain project printers rather than the ultimate production printers. Let me know your personal thoughts 
in the comments. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe not. Time will tell. See you in the next one.